Hello everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac after birth. Last episode we did a run with Eden and we did manage to beat Mega Satan even though things weren't looking as good as they were. Let's pick another character... Uh, sure, why not. Get in the box. So Blue Baby, huh? Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be easier than the last because you can actually have freaking health. Um, And we immediately got a Joker card, which I will keep. Yeah. All right, we're gonna see if we get a good item. We can't really get anything bad because, face it, there isn't really that much that's worse than the poop. But uh, Spider Baby, Spider Revenge. Not the kicker that I was looking for, but whatever, right? Yeah, if you start spawning more of those, we're gonna have a problem, so thank you for stopping. Alright, so, blue baby, huh? Um, taking these with level item is usually not that bad with this character if you can get some form of health regeneration. Especially because there's a lot of deals with level that actually give you spirit hearts in return when you pick them up, but... Um, we're gonna need some really good items from uh, the deal with the angel, then. If we wish to compensate for that, Holy Mantle probably being high up there. Relic could be great as well. Satanic Bible, which doesn't come from the with the Angel Room, I know that, but it would still be something to my liking. Oh, hey, the poop saved me. There you go. Saved by the poop. Ah. Poop shield. Okay. Hangman. Infested? Uh, I don't think we can do anything with the hangman, so we're just gonna ditch that. Alright, so the first floor didn't really pay out as grandiose as I would have hoped it would. I'm kind of wondering though... No, I shouldn't. See, I'm thinking, what if I use the Joker now and get a deal with the Devil Room? Would that already count as a deal with the Devil Room spawning, meaning that I could start getting deals with the Angels from starting at um, Basement 2? I don't know. Kind of wondering why we are getting little Steven here, but um, my choice was to not do it. If you cannot tell, maybe you're just listening to this and not actually watching this. So, all right, arcade. An arcade slot machine. Um, you're gonna take a full heart if I get hit by you. So I'd rather not. Would like a bomb to blow up the muck rock, which we now know is actually supposed to be called tinted rock. I'll try to remember that. Might as well go with the official lingo or whatever it's called. Yeah, we got another muck rock, which means we're not gonna get any bombs this f this uh, floor. Or watch me get kamikaze or something like that. Yep, you can blow up my rocks if you want. But it's gonna cost you. Right, let's uh, use it here just in case if it's explosive diarrhea. It's one that makes me bigger. Wonderful. Isn't that... A little chest, what's in the box? I don't know, you tell me. Well, that's a new item then. Cool. Alright, this r run wasn't wasted then at least. No matter what goes down. But, uh, yeah... Like uh, some bombs, you know, would be well appreciated. Okay. The key is nice, but again, would like some uh, bombs to go along with it, you know.
At first I thought it was um, the item that, what's her name, starts with was. Okay, so that's a third mock rock and we've gotten zero bombs. I mean, really game. Really game. We're gonna do this. You really wanna go down this path? Annoying me when before the thing even properly started. That's just bad for business, man. Yep, no bombs. Uh, the irony. I did say iron E, not so. It's Special Dingle! Who only charges once but leaves creep behind, apparently. And shoots poop kernels at us. <laughs> poop shield. Ow. Well, didn't save me there. Poop shield, man. Gotta love it. Too bad he's uh, using poop shield as cover itself, and I just blew up my poop shield. Which is a bit of a shame, admittedly. Okay, now hit this dude hard. At least his patterns are the same as normal dingle. For the most part. Money, but not bombs. Let's see if there's bombs in here. See, the pack would be something that I could pick up. Because I would be able to pick it up, but then it would give me two hearts back. So that would have been a free item. But, yeah, no. Anyway. Uh, apparently there are bombs here, but we just can't get to them, so once again, thanks, game. Um, we could spend money to try and get some, though, which at this point might be something that would be much needed. Well, we got a bomb there from our chest. Now we only need two more. Alright, let's spend like six cents on it. Did you get a bomb? Nope. 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 And nope. Thank you. Much obliged. Alright, let's blow up some Mark Rocks then. Let me see what the bomb situation is down here. I can't really, let's blow this up first because we get a bomb out of it. Which means we can easily, well, more easily get to our shop here. And buy another bomb. Okay, now don't allow, oh, come on, really? Can I, oh, yeah, I can't make it at least. All right, so where did I see all those mud rocks then? One here. And there's more, I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. I'm not blind. Just spotting them seems to be a bit troublesome. Oh, there's one. And we get two bombs out of that one, so which means we can actually go blow up our th third one if I can recall where that one was. There it is. Okay, and we are keeping that final bomb for hopefully an angel statue. Almost 10 minutes in and we finally made it to the caves. Our damage is uh, still piss poor, and I don't immediately see a change if we don't find some good items really soon. How the hell did we manage to shoot through all of them? I'm 
sure. Go hide behind a rock, that'll help. Okay, this is taking way too long, man. Come on. Come on. Uh. Alright, so... Yeah, we're, uh... In a bad spot would be... Not over yet. Another Joker card, huh? Well, we can't take both. Yeah, we did get a deal with the angel. All right, so that's that means we gotta gotta do this. All right. Oh. It's gonna be another, another long fight, isn't it? Once again, I'm missing practically every shot. But we're almost halfway through this fight. It's a good thing we saved that bomb. Ah. I still don't get why we're fighting angels to allow ourselves to go beat Mega Sage. And you'd think. They would happily give us the opportunity to go beat something that's supposedly supposed to be the worst evil in the world. Well, world is, you know, you know what I mean. No need to sugarcoat it. Um, the end of that phrase didn't make sense either. Just so that you're aware of it. There's no need to go look it up to see if that is that phrase has been used correctly or not. I'm just gonna say it. No, it hasn't been used correctly. Ah, <laughs> you touched my poop. You're gross now. I think I have touched maggots before. Funny story about that, though. I had this um, Venus flytrap. And... Um, it died after I fed it a maggot. <laughs> I say a funny story, but you know, I'm really not too happy with the fact that it died. At least my other carnivorous plan is doing strong. All well, this runner is going as good as well. I mean, we do got one key piece already, which is pretty early on, but. Um, yeah, we're not really uh, doing great on the health department or damage department, so we're neither tanky nor glass cannony. We're just plain weak. Oh, good. Amnesia. So, what do we want from item room? <clears throat> Anything that gives us more DPS, because we. Desperately, desperately, desperately need it. It doesn't have to be Mom's knife. It doesn't have to be... <coughs> What's it called again? Polyphemus? A uh, pentagram or coat hanger or something. Anything. I'd be happy to take it, but... Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna guess we're gonna get like lemon mishap or something. Just seems fitting. These rooms are just taking way too long. We used to speed through these on our last run. I was like, nope, nope. Everything has got to be one. Struggle. So where the hell is our item room? Ah, the bones, man. The bones, the bones, the bones. Ah. Oh. It's worse that I... C enough that I... C can and run the bones, but the fact that the enemy actually survives afterwards, and that's a mock rock, but we can't explode it because we need our bomb 
for potential angel statues. Which again is a dreadful shame, but yeah, if, if, if I could just leave any one of these days, that would be awesome. Alright, thank you. That's a lot of bats, which may actually kill me because if you haven't noticed, our damage. Yeah. I'm gonna keep complaining about that until something changes, so already be ready and aware for that. Rune bag. It is what it is. It's not gonna help us, but. Well, it is gonna help us, but not in the fashion I would want it to. Do we dare blow up? No, we're not gonna blow it up. We're gonna come back for it after we may or may not beat our boss because, well, in all honesty, it just might kill him. It's Double Widows. Yeah, I can see it happen. I can easily see myself dying here. Oh, yes. Easily. That makes no sense at all. Yes, yeah, spiders are coming for me. <sighs> well, they can't all be winners. So, yeah, this is where I'm going to cut it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're still in the series. Feel free. Show probably coming, liking, and subbing if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys on the next episode, which will hopefully go a lot better than this one. Bye, everyone.